So guys, there is so many things going on, you wouldn't believe it. This week alone packs so many new updates and gives us a glimpse into 2025 and what Tesla has planned things are looking exceptionally bright. Getting it out of the way, we already know that the new Model Y is prepping up to be delivered to customers by this week. The next generation affordable model is rolling off of the line by Q2. The robo taxi service is launching in June and unsupervised full self-driving is expected to arrive by the end of this year. But added to this list of aggressive product launches, there are a few more things that Tesla is working on and all of them is happening sooner than we think. According to Korea News, Hank Young, LG Energy Solution plans to unveil a 4680 cylindrical battery at the Inter Battery 2025 event starting on the 5th of next month. LG has begun producing the 4.6 series battery in Korea and is expected to start production at its Arizona factory in the US, while the Nanjing factory in China could also begin production in the coming months. What's particularly interesting about this development is that during the closing remarks of a video on the new Model Y, Top Gear reiterates the rumor of a super range version of the new vehicle this rumor suggests that the Super Range Model Y could feature a 95 kilowatt hour battery delivering 500 miles of range, a significant jump up from the current 337 mile offering. This improvement is expected to be made possible with the upcoming 4680 cells from LG and with Tesla as their primary customers, LG will prioritize shipment to the Gigafactories to support the upcoming vehicle production. So there we have it. This news alone is the best news we've ever heard in a very long time. Range has always been a limiting factor in owning an EV and with the 500 mile mark, this is going to take away every single reasoning why you shouldn't switch to an electric vehicle over an internal combustion. Now the best news about this is that this anchors down the confidence that 4680 cells is going to be the future and multiple companies are on it as we speak. The 4680s is going to be the next big leap up from the 2170s and these are going to be the cells that Tesla had originally pioneered back in 2020 on their Gigafactory production line in Texas. So while Tesla is preparing for an aggressive product launch this year, they are limited by these new cells that are coming out and with LG now on the ball, now producing it and now shipping it to the Tesla factories, the next generation vehicles are going to be ready and they are going to be rolling out as quickly as possible. Now related to this, a camouflage Model Y was recently spotted in Shanghai, China. Meanwhile, a few days earlier, a separate prototype Model Y was seen being driven by engineers in the upper parts of Jiangsu province likely as part of their weather testing efforts in preparation for the super long range model. To put this into perspective, this represents an approximate 500 to 550 kilometer non-stop drive. This is comparable to the distance between LA to Phoenix, Arizona. And over the past few weeks, we have seen this exact model driving around the streets near Fremont factory with the kilowatts sharing images of it covered up and featuring the new crossflow wheels. Other images and videos shared by users on X show the same vehicle being tested in various locations between California and Texas, with each sighting revealing slight modifications to the covering leading up till today. A user on X that goes by Joe Tegmeyer, known for flying his drone and catching all the latest Tesla factory development, captured some high quality images of the latest Model Y prototype, sporting some new updates with the main noticeable difference being the rear spoiler and the dashboard covering. This could be the next performance model and also signs of it being the super range version. With all the latest sightings representing different versions of the Model Y trims, some showing signs of performance components while others do not, we can only speculate that they are testing both models side by side this includes the new 95 kilowatt hour battery and a confirmed performance variant that is set to arrive very soon. In other news, the Model S and X has now been confirmed to be getting a refresh and it's happening sooner than we all expected. According to sources familiar with the matter, Tesla is retrofitting the Model S production line for new purposes 
while the Moto S itself is undergoing some slight modifications. This was also hinted by Lars Moravi, Tezza's VP of Engineering, who confirmed that the Moto S and X will receive a refresh later this year. Well, this could indicate that the production lines of the Moto S and X may be repurposed for the next generation low-cost models. It also suggests that Tesla has no intentions of removing these vehicles from the lineup anytime soon. Now with the Moto S and X back in the spotlight once again, we can expect significant upgrades to the build on the current lineup. These upgrades may include features such as the 48 volt system, steer by wire, accent lighting, powered front, powered folding seats, Starlink connectivity and a revamped exterior design to follow that of the cyber lineup. Tesla once again has the opportunity to make the Model S and X feel as special as they did at launch. All they need to do is integrate the Cybertruck's design and technology along with the comfort and enhancements found in the other models. So there you guys have it. Three separate things going on and announced just this week alone. This is probably the most exciting year we have ever experienced in a very long time. 2025 is going to be that year that we're all going to remember. Not only are we going to be getting tons of new product launches and things we have never seen before, but we are going to be getting upgrades in areas that we have all been waiting for. This is going to be the more durable, the more efficient, and the super long battery that we have been dying to see ever since the inception of the Model 3. So yeah, putting aside that everything else that they are working on, the battery is the most important part of the project roadmap and that is exactly what they are focusing on. On the battery front and connecting with suppliers, they now have in the works the new 4680 cells second generation, the NC05s, the Megapacks, the LGs, and the cathode designs specifically made for the Model Y. All of this is combined going to be the best upgrade we are going to be getting in vehicles and this is exactly what's going to boost the confidence of owners getting their car and enjoying it over buying any other versions of an internal combustion. All of this is going to be playing a critical role in their upcoming roadmap as well as their next generation affordable vehicles slated for Q2 of this year. Of course, I will be keeping a close eye on everything that comes up and I would love it if you guys stick around with me. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't done so already. And follow me on X at Hey John E. Over there, you guys will see things that you wouldn't see here. You can chat with me anytime and I'll respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.